for sale from Toolcrafter802 on ebay.com is one sensitive drilling and tapping attachment designed specifically for use with Sherline milling machines. It has a Morse taper number one shank with a quarter twenty draw bar threads. It is based upon a Centaur high precision tooling 8mm ER8 style single angle collet, collet chuck extension. And this collet system ranges from one half millimeter up to five millimeters with a range of collapse of, of approximately half a millimeter. So if I have a half millimeter collet, which I do have installed, and I can demonstrate to you with a uh, Sherline headstock, because I do not have a Sherline lathe. Uh, assembly, how that would go together. And included is an ultra tool, solid carbide, high precision, 0.77 millimeter drill bit. And I will insert that into the collet nose. And then tighten up Spanner, call it nut with a spanner wrench. And that precisely accurately holds a 0.77 millimeter carbide drill bit. Um, and it has a spring loaded float. So in the vertical configuration as a milling machine, you would uh, use your Z-axis to bring, bring it down to your workpiece, and then you can use the spring pressure that's built into the uh, drilling unit and use finger control to drill really precise holes and tap very fine threaded holes. So I'm going to disassemble this unit and show you some what of how it's assembled. I'll take a moment here just to get the nut loosened up. Don't lose the drill bit. It's very fine like a needle. And that's a brand new drill bit which the drill bit alone probably costs around forty dollars. And The drawbar, you just knock it out of the headstock like such. This set comes with a comes with a complete collet set. Also comes with a spanner wrench. Uh, obviously, the drilling and tapping head comes with a brand new uh, Allen wrench set that goes from 35 thousandths up to one quarter inch. Comes with uh, see here uh, Bay State 836 high speed three flute tap, a Brew Baker USA 544 titanium nitride coated two flute, fluted tap, Threadwell 640 high speed steel three fluted tap, uh, and those are all new. And also new is uh, there's 20 pieces. Of various 332nd shank diamond coated die burrs, die files, and one 332nd shank um, ball and carbon steel cutter, and some various uh, tension springs that allow uh, the operator to adjust tension on the unit. Basically, it's spring loaded in the Z axis. Be very careful. There's a set screw here and a ball bearing which retains the um, central arbor. And you don't want to lose the ball bearing. It's there. And you can extract the collet chuck, and inside is a 
high precision ground tooling locating ball which engages the rear of the uh, tapping and drilling shank um, and it's actually uh, ground out to receive that quarter inch ball um, and the rear of the tapping system has a quarter twenty dog head set screw in the back which allows you to adjust the spring pressure um, to choose different different tension spring. I'm going to go with a heavier tension spring now. That and I'll set my screw into the back and drop the spring and the ball, tooling ball, down in the hole. Okay. And then you reassemble the arbor system. Uh, find that ball bearing, drop that into the set screw hole, and I'll tighten down that set screw until I get this finger finger tight. Uh, the key is to allow for float. Uh, should the operator set this up for a long-term service, they may want to use some um, thread sealant uh, to seal that set screw in, in place. But we'll take our Allen key and set the tension of the tapping head to a higher tension. Okay, so that's set up to a higher tension spring. Uh, I want to choose a tap this time to remove my half millimeter collet. They're sometimes a little tricky to snap out. Okay, I'm going to cut that out. Um, it's the smallest collets that give you the most trouble because they um, have uh, less um, compression slits in them. Okay, I'm going to select the proper collet size for my tap. Snap it into the nose ring, to the collet nut, I should say. Assemble it onto the drilling head, tapping head. Insert the tap into the collet, tighten. And you can actually even just finger tighten this if you want the tap to slip a little bit to avoid tap breakage. Again, that would be installed into the headstock of the shoreline. Tighten up on your drawbar. And in the Z-axis, that gives you spring pressure on the downstroke of your tap. And you can finger feed the tap into the hole, um, which would help uh, reduce tap breakage. I'm doing that sensitive tooling for uh, watchmakers, clock makers, model makers, uh, tool and die makers, um, gunsmiths. They could all appreciate this uh, fine tooling. Uh, it's basically one of a kind. It will be for sale on eBay for seven days as a standard auction. Uh, bid high and bid early if you want to guarantee yourself a chance at owning this fine tooling. Thank you for viewing today.